So I've got a question. I'm a vegan like you. I have respectable athletic background, sub three marathons, 34 minute 10Ks, why Ironman finisher? No caffeine, etc. Full of energy, wanking to modern day issues. However, my parents will not listen to me. They have been clinically obese most of the adult life. And my dad has been in and out of hospital over the last 15 years with bowel issues. His latest message is the doctor said that eating bananas can make you constipated. My mum says I've always been big. It doesn't matter what I say, they don't listen. Maybe if someone else mentioned to them the health benefits of this lifestyle, they'd listen. Maybe. Could you make a simple vid for them suggesting what foods are best for health and vitality, how much exercise they should get each day, they're 63 and 61, why animal products are bad for the body, can you still eat vegan on the budget? They're retired. And lastly, how long before they would see changes in their energy appearance? They will not listen to me. Why would they? I'm fit, healthy, no medical problems, full of energy. <laughs> I know I could choose any number of your vids, but something that covers the whole game but would be much appreciated. Um, my suggestion to this person is very fit individual, this guy is. Very, very fit, very healthy, setting a good example. His parents choose not to follow. I could do a video listing such and such and such, but if they're not going to listen to you, then they're not going to su succeed on this lifestyle because they've got an example in the front of their fucking face. Um, people might get interested if someone else says, says something to them, but if you've got a family member succeeding on something in life, but you won't take advice from them because your ego is so far up your ass or, or you're conditioned not to listen to your children or your parents or your brothers or sisters or whatever reasons people have, that emotional bullshit wall they put up that prevents them from taking any real action in life, you can't help them, really. I mean, my parents, my mum's like that, my dad was like that before he died of radiation chemo. What can you do? Just leave them be. Leave them be. It might sound harsh and insensitive, but it's the fucking reality. I talked to my mum once last year, I talked to her once this year, it's the same story for the last 10 years. But rice makes you fat, it's pure energy. I don't know, I'm, I'm just obese because, like, I'm German. Or, or just the excuses people put up, I just don't really have time for it. And I don't recommend other people have time for it either. It's 2014. It's people... <laughs> People want their hand held to do basic stuff. Just, just, I, I just, I say drop it because it's too much of an energy drain. And sure, it, it hurts like hexing our friends and family destroy their health by apathy and ignorance. But all we can do is put energy into ourselves and be the lighthouse shining so brightly that our example is undeniable. And for people who don't want to hit the rocks, they will go, oh, there's a lighthouse. I want to go around that way. I'm not going to smash into the rocks. Otherwise, it's too stressful. Life's too short. Life's too short. There's only so much time and energy in the day you have to allocate to things. I say allocate it to yourself and to be an example for others. And you do your YouTube videos, you do your blogs, or you write a book or whatever, and those who are interested will go, yeah, I'm going to study this. I'm going to make it a personal study. It's 2014, it's the age of the internet, you know, kids have got, eight-year-old kids have got iPhones, they're Googling shit up. If a 60-year-old can't do that, there's no hope for them. Like my, my mother, there's, she's in the same boat, it's that generation, I'm not saying they can't change, sometimes they do change, but it's 99.999%, they will never change. So it's a waste, it's a waste, for me it's a waste of my time and energy, which I did for 10 years, just trying to hammer my mum into like eating healthy. Same with my dad, I get the books, give them to them and make them food and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, this is good. And as soon as you leave, they're back to normal. So it's just, it's a bit like getting an old rusty car and trying to turn it into a Porsche. You're better off just putting time into a Porsche. You know, <laughs> don't get a Toyota Corolla rust bucket and try and convert it. It might work with a lot of time and money and frustration, but is it really worth it? Is it really worth it when there's so many people out there who want the information, who are willing to do the work? I, for me, I put my energy into them. It might sound shallow, and I don't have any interest to talk to my mother ever again or my, or my nan or whatever. I would love it if they got into the health wagon. I would fucking love it. But I don't have the time and energy to just talk about the same shit over and over. Oh, hell, you look too thin. You need to put on some weight. Eat some I just don't have fucking time for it, man. I do not have time for it. But if they wanted to get on the wagon, I'd give them a full fucking support full fucking support, full force, 
but I'm not going to chase it. Does that make sense? I'll keep the door open, but I'm not going to be standing in the door. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck that. The door's open. If you fucking want it, it's logical. It's rational. Here's the fucking door. Come and join the fucking party. I'm not, I don't stand at the door anymore and try and drag people in against their will. I did that for so fucking long, man. I, don't, I recommend don't do that. Everyone does it at Starks. Everyone's keen and I want to help people. And you fucking, you get getting people in a fucking headlock and a triple choke. Oh, you fucking rip them for the door. Come on, man. You this good for you. No. People got to come running through the door on their own accord. Otherwise, they're going to just get out that door as soon as possible. You're not going to force them in. But eventually, you're going to have to put your arms down and do something else. They're just going to run back out. And that is the hardest thing about being healthy and fit. Is watching our friends and family destroy themselves from their personal choices and their ignorance and apathy and getting sucked in all the scams and fads out there the paleo diet, the primal diet, eat bacon eggs to make your heart strong and your body lean. What a load of fucking bullshit. But people get suckered to that because a lot of people want to hear good things about their bad habits. All you can do is put your energy in yourself. There's enough information out there. I say, <laughs> give. You know, if you want, buy a copy of McDougal's book, Start Solution, and just leave it on someone's desk. Pick it up a week later, and then you'll know what's going on. It's a $30 test. doesn't require any time of investment. Get it from the library or whatever, and then you'll know. But just don't waste your life, man. Your life is so short. It's so fleeting. I cannot be fucked anymore in my life trying to convince people of something they don't want to be convinced about. <laughs> but what's the fucking point? I'm going to put my energy into... Build my own presence on the internet. Helping people. Help themselves. Get fit and healthy. At the same time we help the planet. Bottom line, don't want it more for people than they want it themselves. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can lead a person to the information, but you can't make them think. They've got to do that themselves. Leave the door open. Be the example. End of the day.